interested to see what the governor has to say tomorrow in the State of the Union. But I want to go back and talk about uh, how we ended up with Flint water to begin with. And you've got a lot of folks, including uh, Darnell Early in his uh, piece over the weekend, talking about the decision was made to go to, to Karagnandi um, before he came on board. They looked at it. They agreed with it. Um, it was still up in the air at the time. I remember a piece in MLive with you thinking originally we would stay with Detroit Water until Karagnandi came online. That was one of the thoughts that, that people were thinking. And the problem, and a lot of people, even the timeline, the Detroit News or Free Press did a big story a few weeks ago, maybe a month and a half ago, uh, with this timeline that they laid out. And they left completely out of the timeline the letter in May from Detroit Water, April or May, saying you know it's going to be $48 million a year in the interim to take water from Detroit, which was a huge increase in the rates. That was a big factor in the decision-making, wasn't it? I, I think so. Um, but it, it it didn't have to end there. Um, you're right to say that you know it was in March of 2013 that my both myself, city council, and current emergency manager Ed Kurtz all came to the conclusion that long term the city of Flint would be best served by getting on the new pipeline. And that was KWA. Now the thought originally was also supplemented a little bit by the Flint River. That's that was something council put in their motion okay was they said you know 16 million mgd from from the new pipeline and if needed you know the the rivers uh, available um i i didn't want to see us utilize the river in that capacity it's it's always been our backup supply right and treating it for a day or two is is one thing right um but the decision to go to KWA, myself, city council, emergency manager, everybody, everybody on board with that. And that went all the way up to the governor, state treasurer. Everyone saw the benefits of the city. And I can tell you, and, and Darnell Early was serving in Saginaw, and he needs to stop commenting about this because he doesn't know what he's talking about. Every financial projection that was shared with myself, city council, and, and I understand with the state, all showed Flint staying on the Detroit system in 2014, 2015, and and actually in 2016, assuming the pipeline got a few months behind, you got to be financially conservative. And then in 2017, you'd start paying, you know, KWA. That was the discussion in March of 2013. That's what myself, city council, the emergency manager endorsed. And then you're right that once that vote was and discussion was public. Yes. Then Detroit, who we've paid over, you know, a billion dollars for water over, you know, 40, 50 years, mm -hmm. sends the city of Flint a letter right. that says, you know, the, you're getting your 12-month notice letter mm -hmm. as, you know, proper under the contract. And mm -hmm. technically they were right. Mm -hmm. The contract did say that either party could terminate the relationship with 12 yep. months yep. Um, because we were extending – Year to year, at that point, we did not have a long-term contract. Right, you were on year to year. Yep. That's why we were debating the KWA, mm -hmm. and that's where the county and the city went two different ways. You know, the county, Jeff Wright's leadership was was right to go back to Detroit and negotiate. You know, the the best deal possible, and to stay on Lake Huron water. The emergency manager in Flint went a different direction, and we all saw, you know. A so you're saying at this point now, uh, this was when? When did the? When did the? First, when were you? You were elected in what? 2012. Well, I was first elected in 2009. 2009. Re elected, re -elected in, in 2012. November 11. Of 11. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, odd years. Okay. So, um, the emergency manager took over in. December 2011. 2011. All right. So these decisions, you're looking at this already, um, and the, the city's deciding long-term this is the way that we're going to go. Council, yourself, uh, agreeing with this. Right. March approved. of 13. March of 13. Right. Detroit uh, letter. Detroit letter. I think was very early April yeah. of 13. Yep. Saying, you know, you got 12 months. Okay. And the county, again, the county goes back to Detroit. Even with the state's help, you're under... You're, you're under 
Yeah, the sucker. emergency management. Right. The county's able to to negotiate a deal to stay on and tell. But the but the city of Flint under emergency management with with you know you got Detroit in crisis as well in the meantime. Yeah, emergency managers in both cities. So you've got so you you've got and the and the governor can't say hey we want to do this. At some point there were people locally who thought it's it's going to be okay to stay with the Flint River in the meantime. This is an opportunity to to take control of our own fate and do this and leave Detroit. Would you agree with that? Yeah, and and when we Was that you as well? Did yeah, you Yeah, when we got to April of 2014, you know, fast forward a year. So the emergency manager makes the decision, dollars get spent, city staff get hired. Yep. And you get to April 2014 and I'm there, you know, I I push the button. Yeah. You know, the ceremonial right. yep. switch. Yep. Um, and I was told that the water was meeting all the standards, that it was comparable with Detroit. And, and this is the tragedy. We now know that there was one major difference. Detroit water had phosphate corrosion control. Well, and it was more, it was less and, corrosive to begin with coming from the lake as even, opposed to the even river. So, wh- yeah. whatever you start with, because, yeah. you know, all kinds of water gets treated all across the state. Yep. You got wells, you got rivers, sure. you got lake, all kinds of different water gets treated. But when we were all told that the water was comparable with Detroit in April, May of 2014, when we first started, yeah. it wasn't true. Yeah. Because the Detroit water, since the early 1990s, had had the phosphate corrosion control yeah. to make sure that old lead pipes that had been in the ground yeah. for decades had a protective barrier right. and, and the water didn't, didn't leach the lead. And that, that should have been said then. I should, you know, I, I needed that information then. We, we needed to know when we made that switch. Oh yeah, the water's testing the same with pH and alkalinity, but there's one major difference. Detroit water has phosphate corrosion control, and this water doesn't. Mm-hmm. And that was never, you know, it was never put forward.